if you're not getting any heat into your top oven but the bottom one's working or your element just looks like this carry on watching this video and i'll show you how to swap them out always ensure the power's off before starting any work quick note on elements they can either be screwed in from the front or screwed in from the back this one's from the front and you can change it without removing the machine although it's tricky i'll be showing you how to get it front back just so we cover all bases we need to get some weight off machine best way to do this is by removing doors most but not all ovens will have a hinge set up similar to this pull these tabs back lift the door up the door should catch the hinges and release from the machine. Do the same for both doors. Now we don't have to worry about smashing any glass. The machine should be light enough to shift. I've got this folding table, but anything that's a similar height to the oven will do. There are normally a couple of screws securing the machine to the surround. This machine's got four, just remove those. One major thing to check for, ensure nothing on top is being supported by the machine. I've ran into it a couple of times where the shelf on top sits directly on the machine. Last thing you want is pots and pans to come crashing down. Grab oven in the middle. I like to get the front resting on the table, and then it's just a case of sliding the rest of the machine out. Once out, there should be a couple of screws in back panel. Remove those and it should release. I like to wedge the back panel against the surround, ensuring it can't fall. Good idea to take pictures every step along the way in the event that any connectors come loose. These spade connectors have a tiny clip mechanism and can just be lifted up with a small screwdriver. We've got our grill element cables here. These luckily have enough length to change the element from the front, but some manufacturers don't make it that easy. If you lose cable inside machine, you have to pull it out anyway, so we might as well get it from back. If your element is screwed in from the back, the screws will be hiding underneath this insulation near the connectors. Otherwise, come round to the front and remove screws. Ensure the element sits correct and then re-screw everything. The large plate on the element has all the required info. So this, in combination with model number on front of the machine, should give you all the info you need to order the correct element. Elements are relatively cheap and are one of the most common parts to fail on any oven. Changing them out is a skill that anyone can do. I understand people not wanting to mess about with electrics, but with enough confidence and a proper guide, learning this will save you money in the long run. When everything's sitting flush and the elements in place, refit the screws and ensure they're tight. You want yours to look like this. Refit the connectors on the back. Refer to the photos that you took before taking them off. Again, this just eliminates any guesswork and ensures the job is done correctly. Once the connectors are connected to the connections, refit the back panel and then get ready to slide the machine back. Rest the back of the oven in the surround, lift the machine up and pull the table away. This can be a bit of a pain if you don't have a table of the correct height. You can see I'm doing this with one hand because the table's correct. Worst comes to worst, you can always just lift the machine up because we've removed the doors. When it's back, we can proceed to give it a test. Turn the machine on. Make sure the clock's set. On every oven, power runs through the clock. If it's not set, you will get limited functionality, so it's a very important step. When it's set, turn it on to grill setting. While that's warming up, we can refit as doors. Same way we took them off. Slide the hinges in. There's a little notch in the bottom of the hinge that sits on the oven. You know you'll have it correct because the door will be able to rest at 90 degrees. If your door can't sit flat, then it's connected wrong. You need to remove it and try again. When you've got it sat properly, you can fold these hinges down. Close the door and make sure it seals with no gaps. By now, our element should be starting to warm up. You'll see smoke at this point and smell a distinctive plasticky smell. The elements when new have a protective coating applied. This is just burning off. Don't panic, it's completely normal and a sign that you've actually installed it correctly. Refit the top door using the exact process as below. You should now have the correct info to change any element that you might run into. Some machines have different connections or methods, but they all follow this basic principle. Happy cooking, as always, if you need any advice, feel free to give me a shout in comments.